We are going to be doing a few practice problems now. So our first practice problem is a piece of metal has a mass of 150 grams and a volume of 21 milliliters. So we can just write that directly into our density uh, equation equals mass 150 grams divided by 21 milliliters. What is the density? So we could just put it into our calculator. 150 divided by 21 equals 7.14 about grams per milliliter. If we're using sig figs, it'd be about 7.1 grams per milliliter. And we want to figure out, we're going to use this density now to identify what the metal is. So let's look at our table and we could see the closest to 7.1 would be zinc. So we could say the metal is zinc. So that is our first practice problem. Practice problem two, a bar of copper has a mass of 131 grams. Find the volume of the copper bar. So we know our mass, 131 grams. We're looking for the volume, find the volume. And we know it's copper. So if it's copper, we can look at our table because copper will have a consistent density if it's pure copper. So its density will be 8.96 grams per milliliter. We got the mass right here. One hundred thirty one grams. All we have to do now is find the volume and we can rearrange our density formula to give us volume. So if we multiply, well, we just do some algebra, switch it around. So we got volume equals mass divided by density. And if we solve this problem, volume equals 131 grams divided by 8.96 grams per milliliter and we should get, let's plug this into our calculator, 131 divided by 8.96 should get out 14.6 for volume. And remember it would be milliliters. That's our units. So that is the volume of the copper bar, you can say centimeters cubed as well. So that might be another way of saying it. For our third practice problem, find the mass of seven, 75, excuse me, 75 milliliters of cooking oil. So now we are finding our mass. So this is exactly the opposite of the last one. We can use, we know it's cooking oil, so we can use our density chart right here. So density is going to equal 0 0.92 grams per milliliter. Volume equals 75 milliliters. And now we're looking for mass. So again, we're going to rearrange this equation to give us mass. So mass is going to equal volume times density. So mass is equal to 75 milliliters times 0 0.92 
grams per milliliter. Plug that in your calculator. 75 times 0.92. And you should get 69. Mass is equal to 69. And our units for mass are grams taken directly from there. All right, so practice problem number four. What type of metal is this rod made of? So what we're gonna have to do is we have to find, we can identify this metal by finding the density. And then in order to find the density, we need to find the mass and we need to find the volume. So let's start by finding the mass. We could just move over to this scale right here. And I've weighed this multiple times. Uh, and we can get 46 grams. So that's our mass, 46 grams. So then in order to get our volume, we are going to have to use a graduated cylinder. So I've already put in right about 50 milliliters uh, into that. We're going to say it's 50 milliliters. When you get level, that's what it, that's what it is. And when I put my metal rod into my graduated cylinder, the water level is going to rise up exactly the volume that my metal rod is. So right now it's 50 milliliters. And as I put this in, we could see the increase. And let's get as close as we can to measure that. And it looks like it moved up to 76. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna put it at 76 milliliters. So if it went from 50 milliliters to 76 milliliters, that would be a volume of 26 milliliters. So if we see here, We have a mass that equals 46 grams, and we have a volume that is equal to 26 milliliters, and our density is going to be equal to mass divided by volume. So we can use density equals mass divided by volume. So all you gotta do is plug that straight into a calculator. And you will get, that's not it, 46 grams divided by 26 milliliters. And you're gonna get a density of 1.77 about, or 1.8 eight grams per milliliter. So we're gonna use that about 1.8 to see what it's closest to. So we know it's a metal, so let's go through here. And it's closest to magnesium. So this bar right here is a magnesium bar. That is how we're gonna identify the uh, type of metal or type of whatever substance we're finding. That's how we're gonna identify it.